Wagwan YouTube gang, it's your boy Yardy man. Welcome back to the channel. Make sure before you watch this video that you hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. Make sure you smash that like button also. We want to have at least 50 likes on the majority of our videos. And also tell your friends about us. Make sure you leave some comments. And now let's kick this video off. What's going on guys? Welcome back to episode 2 of the Colchester career mode. Yes, this is the Colchester Road to Glory career mode. And in the previous episode, I think if I'm correct, we were in episode what we were in EFL League One. So I'm not sure, I can't remember. But if we were, this is where we are now, guys. We are now, we were promoted, as you know already. We are now in the championship. Don't worry about this, the stats right about now because I'm going to simulate to the end of the season. So as you know, we are already in championship. Um, now for this episode and I'm going to show you the signings that we've made immediately so our signings that we made this season so you've got Christian right here from Bayern Munich we, we got him from Bayern Munich 2 I think it was can't remember the team but yeah you can see Bayern Munich there guys so I'm not sure if, Bayern, if it's Bayern Munich 1 or Bayern Munich 2 anyway we move on to Fringpong. So Jeremy Fringpong, we've got him for roughly 15 mil on a 20,000 wage, week, weekly wage, 20,000 weekly wage for four years. As you can see here, we got Mr. Christian for four, 4 million and we got him on a 7.2 thousand per week contract. So as you can see now, guys, we've got Giovanni Reyna, He's a star right now in real life. He's recently just signed a new contract with Borussia Dortmund. So I thought it would be good to bring him in. And we only paid 13.5 million for him. Also 17.5 thousand per week for his contract. And he's on a five-year contract, guys. Another great player that we signed from, well, great youth player that we signed from Borussia Dortmund is Jude Bellingham. Jude Bellingham signed for us for 10 million and 16,000 per week. So we got both of these players to come in. Um, really and truly, Reyna was more of a first team player we wanted him for because he can go as a cam. We needed a, a cam. So I'm going to show you that in a minute anyway. Another player that was requested by one of our newly subscribers is his name is Flames. He wanted us to sign Eddie Salcido, if that's how you pr pronounce it. Yes, so we have signed him um, Flames for the total of 6.5 million. And he's on a 31,000 per week contract for four years. And he's a rotation player. So I'm going to explain further about the team in a minute. Now, Jean Claire Todibo, we signed him from Barcelona for the total of 27.1 million. And he's on a 55,000 per week contract, probably one or, 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 or one of the, the most um, expensive wages on our team. But we're going to the Premier League, so we need to have the best of players or players willing to become the best or wanting to become the best. Another player that we signed, guys, is Gustavo Asonkeo. Or I'm not sure how to pronounce it. If you're Brazilian and you know the correct way of pronouncing it, leave it in the comment section. Don't crucify me for that guys I do apologize but we signed him for 30 million and he's on a 17,000 per week contract for four years he wants to be a crucial player he does fit our squad very well now after discussing where we were a second ago as I said we really wanted to sign Ratchik or Rakik however that's pronounced but he was a bit too expensive so I'm going to leave that out of it Another few players that we wanted to sign was Trinkeo, but as you can see, 61.5 million is way too expensive for us. And Windrow, we wanted to sign Wijnaldo, Wijendal, we wanted to sign him as well, but fundings didn't allow us to do so. Reese James, also I was thinking about bringing him in, but we will we'll be making some new signings in the next episode. So here we are. Ryan Sessignon was also another player I wanted to bring in, but we got a very good replacement out of Bellingham for him. So we're going to go and show you the team now. 
from the previous season, you already know this team. So we've got Pedro up front, now newly signed Reyna. He comes in to replace Jones. As you can see, Jones is 64. We're not getting rid of Jones, but we needed a player that is higher in potential and will develop a lot quicker than James Jones because Jones hasn't been developing that quick. So um, another player, we didn't change our right wing. He done great last season and I want that to continue. Hack also, he will remain our main left winger there. And um, the silver will remain here as our CDM. And as you can see, a son KO has also brought himself into the team. So he comes in to replace Masingo or Masingo. Yeah, Masingo. So it's not because I don't like how Masingo is developing, but we're moving into the Premier League and most of our players are just around 75 overall or just below. So I had to get someone in that's experienced. And as you can see, 78 overall for our CDMs is pretty good for us now because they will be great with defending. Now, Van Jung, Gelin, you guys know of him in the previous episode. What I had to do is find him a partner that was Reese. Reese, Reese Oxford is very great, but we had to find him a partner that is roughly around his overall. So you can see he is at the age of 23. Padibo is at the age of 22. And he's got an overall that matches Van Jongelin, which is 78. As you can see, plus one sharpness gives him 79. So that's pretty good. Also, Kelly, you guys know him from the previous episode, still in our team. As I said, we wanted Winjil Nal, if, I can't remember his name, but we wanted him to be a good rotation for Kelly there. But unfortunately, we just ran, that, ran out of funding. Okay, Aaron's guys, you can see he's he's advancing very well. He's leveling, he's um, overall is growing very fast for us and that's great. And he will remain as our main right back. But Fringpong here, he is going to have a chance to rotate with him this season. So that will give us a bit of rotation in the team, making our team fit, hopefully, so we can win the league and get promoted to the Premier League. So... Have I explained everything to you guys? So yeah, uh, I'm also now, we know Pedro, I, I wanted him to be my main striker, but for some reason, Solonke that we brought in, he became the main striker. And you have to see with that anyway, probably it's just age and experience. So that's why they've made him the main man. Fair enough. But the way I want it to work is Solonke, Pedro, and then Sal Cedo or Sal Kedo. He will be our reserve striker and we'll see if he moves up the pecking order. You guys know Bazoom knew already he is our reserves goalkeeper now and you've got Fru who is also our sub goalkeeper now. So Mantle, I'm going to show you some crazy offers that we received for some of our players. And guys, just to let you see again, same tactics we're going to be using this season. Hopefully now with a very stronger team now, a much stronger team now. So I'm going to show you guys some offers that I received and then I'm going to simulate. Okay guys, so 74.6 million and you can see Brian can go way up to, how, what did they say, 140 million. But we have received an offer for 74.6 million from Sheffield United. So you can see the teams are becoming interested in our player and he is a star. So I don't doubt that we need to make sure that we sign him on a bigger contract next season. Talking about bigger contracts, we move on to Joe Pedro. He's not very happy because he wants a contract upgrade. But for some reason, we can't negotiate a contract with him. It's a glitch in the game. And it just says he wants to leave the team, but I'm not actually going to allow him to leave the team. If I do sell him, then I'm going to have to buy him back anyway. But as you guys can see, we received the offer for him for 20 mil from PSV, 19 from Sheffield United and Edebar, I think it is, wanted him for Ebar, Ebar wanted him for 18.5. 
So those were some of the offers that we, we received this season. And yeah, our team is doing, looking pretty well now, guys. So hopefully everything goes well and we can actually win or get promoted, to be honest, in this season. And then we go to the Premier League. I'm sure you guys really want to see this team playing. So vote down below. If you want to see us play in this career mode, well the next episode when we get to the premier league make sure you leave your comments down below yes no simulate should we play it like football manager where we simulate the matches and just have a look at the stats or should we actually play the match you guys decide i've already uploaded the previous episode and gave you guys an insight of what we'll be doing just keep on supporting this episode and you will see more of it so let's get this video guys to at least 20 likes and then i'll drop episode three that's how it's gonna work so let's go i'm gonna simulate to the end of the season i'll see you then what's up guys here we are we're back at the end of the season it's currently the 23rd of june and i want to find out if we won the league wow we've already found out guys we won the league with 115 points in 46 games how many goals did we score we scored 95 goals 29 goals against the best defense in the league sheffield united wow 95 goals 30 against guys we were trading behind them i didn't know that we was actually going to catch up but we managed to, to win 36 games seven drawn seven games drawn three defeats wow sheffield united had 36 wins five draws and five losses so i think that definitely helped us out Another thing as well, you can see Watford done pretty well this season. They managed to get 84, so did Brentford. Brentford also got 82 and Blackburn Rovers 75, 75 for Millwall. So they will have a promotion match to see who does get promoted, guys. But as you can see, we've done pretty well in this episode. Yeah. Okay, guys. So as you can see, Marpe scored... 27 goals in 46 matches. Salonke, guys, watch this. 25 goals in 44 games. Um, any other players for us? Sheffield United has two players in the top five. Norwood scored 18 goals in 43 games. And for us, Hack scored 18 in 44. So, again, that was pretty good from us this season. Another player, let me see if we can find another one of our players. No, so you can see... Nobody has scored for us this season that were that many goals. So that's that's a bit shocking, to be honest with you. But we'll find out anyway. Assist, hack, 14 assists in 44 games. Number one, nobody topped that. And that's pretty good. Also, the silver, 9 in 44. Not impressive, but yeah, it's decent. Clean sheets, guys. Mantle again, second, guys. Last season, he was first. This season, he's actually had, I think he had 14 last season or so. He's actually had 23 clean sheets in 46 games. That's pretty good. Um, let me see if any of our other goalkeepers managed to get into this list. No. So, yeah, that was how it went. If you are enjoying this now, guys, as I said, let's get it to 20 likes. Let's get the next episode up and you guys decide what we should, should do in that episode. Now, take care of yourselves wherever you are, guys. Love. I'm out. Thank you guys for watching the episode. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also smash that like button. We would like minimum for all our videos to be on 50 likes. So make sure you smash that. Leave a comment. I'll see you in the next video. Like a candle. I'm out.